Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, what is called the product rule. It's gonna help us differentiate uh, the product of two or more functions. And it's not as straightforward as we uh, might hope it to be, right? If the world was a perfect place, the product rule might be um, to take the derivative of a product of two functions, just multiply the derivative of each function together. Uh, in this little motivating example, we're gonna see that it doesn't quite uh, work like that. So let's go ahead and differentiate this function. Uh, here I have the function written up here in two different forms kind of this factored form, 2x plus 3 times x squared minus 1, and this expanded form over there to the right. The idea is we already know how to differentiate the expanded form to the right using our power rule and our sum and difference rule, so we'll know what the derivative should actually look like. We're going to try to take the derivative with uh, the incorrect product rule and see that they are not the same. All right, so we can think of our function as the product of two functions. Maybe call that first one f and that second one g. So f is 2x plus 3 and g is x squared minus 1. And so now if we want to differentiate our function with respect to x, so we're going to start by differentiating each factor uh, with respect to x and see what we get. So if we differentiate the first factor, 2x plus 3, we'll get a factor of 2 using the power rule. And if we do the same thing with our second factor, what we're calling g, which is x squared minus 1, the derivative of that is, well, just 2x. And so if we multiply those together, 2 times 2x gives us 4x. So it might appear that the uh, derivative of this function should just be 4x, but we're going to see that that is uh, not the case, right? This is the actual incorrect way to take the derivative. Um, if we look at this expanded form over here and try to differentiate that, we're going to see we're going to get something very different than 4x. So if we do take the time to differentiate this, we should get a 6x squared plus 6x minus 2, and those are clearly not equal. So this is the correct derivative of the function using what we've uh, learned before, and this one, 4x, is definitely not right. So the point of this was to see if you want to take the derivative of a product of two functions, you can't just uh, take the derivative of each factor and multiply those together. It doesn't give you the correct derivative. So what is the correct way to find the derivative of the product of two functions? What is our product's rule? All right, so here I have the uh, the correct uh, version of the product rule up, and I kind of have it written in two different forms. They're totally equivalent, uh, just using slightly different uh, notations. So first off, this is saying if we want to take the derivative with respect to x of the product of the functions f and g, this is what the uh, the product rule says to do. This is the true derivative of the product of two functions. It requires four components. It requires the derivative of the first function, the original second function, the original first function, and the derivative of that second function. So we take the derivative of the first function, multiply it by the second, and add to that the first function times the derivative of the second. And the second statement of the product rule is just the uh, exact same thing, just with uh, using different names for our functions besides f and g, like uh, u and v. So remember, prime is telling us we want to take a derivative. So inside of our parentheses, we have this product. Taking the derivative of the product gives us the derivative of the first function times the second plus the first function times the derivative of the second. So we tried to use our incorrect uh, product rule on this first example. Let's try this uh, example again using the correct product rule. All right, so if we want to take the derivative of our function using the, uh, the product rule formula over here, we need to kind of identify these four components, f, g, uh, f prime, and g prime. And I've already kind of got half of them up there. We know f is going to be that first factor, 2x plus 3, and g is the second factor that makes up our function, x squared minus 1. So the only kind of factors we are missing now are the f prime and the g prime. So let's go ahead and get those up on the board real quick. And so now we can take the derivative of our function that we're calling y. The derivative will be called y prime or dy dx, depending on which notation we choose. And now we have to use our product rule to kind of piece together the derivative of y prime. So the product rule says first you take the derivative of f, which is 2. You multiply that by our second function g in its original form, which is x squared minus 1. And then we're going to add to that another product, the product of f and g prime. So f is 2x plus 3. And g prime we found to be just 2x. So remember, up here, we have what we know is the correct derivative of our function by expanding the function using our uh, power rule and sum and difference rule. I think if we simplify this uh, result we got from our product rule, 
it should give us the same function we got when we used our power rule and sum indifference rule. So let's take a second to do that real quick. Let's see, so if I expand everything, what do I get? So if you're using the distributive property and expanding everything, this is what it looks like. And now if we combine like terms, what do we end up with? Well, it looks like we end up with 6x squared plus 6x minus 2. That's exactly what we got when we did it using our alternative method. So this is the uh, correct derivative of this function using the product rule.